Hello friends, today in this video I am going to show you how to design and import Android app icon which is consistent across all Android device models, all Android versions and also all Android launcher types. Before going to the design part, I want to take 2-3 to three minutes to explain about the evolution of adaptive app icons. Before Android O that is Android 8.0, all the Android models used to display the app icons in their own free shapes. But the other side of this creative freedom is lack of consistency. So Android introduced custom launchers offering icon packs to replace apps icons and normalize their size and shape. So devices also started shipping with launchers adding backgrounds to app icons to enforce consistency and brand their platform. At this time to balance the freedom of icon makers and normalize the icon shapes and size to maintain consistency across all apps and device models, Android introduced a new app icon format that is adaptive icons. So in this video, I will explain you how to design adaptive app icons with perfect dimensions, how to import and use these icons in your projects, how to test whether the designed app icon is perfectly fitting for all types of launchers and how the app icon responds in parallax and scaling modes. Everything I will show you in this video. So don't skip the video and watch till the end. Hello friends, welcome back to Ireka Tech Solutions. When you are developing the Android app icon or launcher icon, you need to consider the size of your app icon. Different devices can supply different masks in their own shapes. So if you design adaptive icons with size 108 by 108 dp, you can consider a centered 66 dp diameter circle as a safe zone. Means you need to design your brand logo at the center 62% area of the icon. Okay, let's start the design part. To design the app icon, you can select any UI or UX design softwares, but here I am using the Adobe XD. You can download this software version from internet. On opening the Adobe, you can see the home screen like this. You can select one of the predefined design templates or open the custom one. Here I am opening one of my Android apps icons. This I designed for Telnote application. So this is 512 by 512 I created because I wanted the icon to be useful to upload to Google Play Console. You know that Play Console access 512 by 512 DP app icons only for the store listing which will be shown in the Play Store. So here I used some images, shapes, text and colors to create this icon. So while designing this, the only thing you have to remember is the size of your app's logo or brand at the center. This should cover only 62% of your app icon. Okay, let me show you how to use this Adobe XD. Click on this artboard icon, adjust the size to 512 by 512. Rename the artboard because on export this art is saved with the same name. Now play with the shapes, colors and text to create your own app icon. But always make sure the main logo or brand has to be in safe zone. So for 512 by 512 adaptive app icon, the main logo part has to be in 340 by 340 dp. So inside this area, you are free to use your design skills to create a nice app icon. Once done, select the artboard and click on file, export, selected and create the PNG file. So this is how it looks. Here I will show you with my project app icon. See here my foreground uh, voice note app icon is not in uh, 340 by 340 dimensions. But let's see how it looks. Select file, export, selected, name the icon and click on export. Now go to the project. If you created a new project and selected API 26 that is Android 8.0 uh, while creating the project then your project already supports this adaptive app icons. See here in MipMap folder you can find IC launcher icons for all device pixel densities and also IC launcher round icons. But these are created with default uh, Android icon 
Now let's import our app icon into this project. Select app, right click, new, image asset. Here let's select the icon created using Adobe XD. Click open. See it is out of the region. So adjust the size to fit inside properly. And check for all shapes. Now select background layer. This can be any image or color which is visible when applied parallax effect on scrolling the home screen grid. This I will show you while testing the app for effects. For now I selected white color as background. Go to options. Select S for legacy icon if your app supports Android API less than or equal to 25 and also round icon for API 25 and create Google Play Store icon also which you can directly use it in the Google Play Console project store listing page. Click next. See here it shows all the PNG and XML files to be imported in your project resource folder. The files marked in red color will overwrite the existing files in resource mipmap folder. Means that Android icon will be replaced with this voice note app icon in the mipmap folder. If you don't want to replace the existing ones without testing then you can select debug or release options here so that a new resource folder will be created with these launcher icons. Here I am selecting main and click on finish. So if you go to mipmap folder all the icons are replaced with my new adaptive icon. Also make sure the launcher icon and the launcher icon round both are specified in the apps manifest file. Now run the project. See the icon is displayed within the mask as per the launcher theme applied. See the difference for both the icons. Okay, let's test in other device also. Run the project. The square shape mask also applied perfectly. But what about the other effects and animations applied to adaptive icons? How to test them? So there is an app to test the effects of adaptive icons. I will give this link in the description box. You can download and install this APK file into your emulator to test the adaptive icons. Ok, downloaded, drag and drop to the emulator, install successfully. This is the app, open it. This app displays all applications installed on your device with adaptive icons. If you installed your app into this emulator but you are not finding the app in this tool means your app is not integrated with adaptive app icons. So here scrolling the grid applies parallax effects to the icons and touching an icon applies a scale effect. Also you can change the mask applied to the icons and check. You can adjust parallax and also scaling mode to check your app icon for all the effects. See here on parallax effect you can observe the white background for my app because I selected background layer as white color while importing the image asset. So choose perfect background color or image which suits your app and test your app icon for different color themes. So this way you can use this tool to check how your icon will appear and may move on different devices. Hope my explanation is clear enough to create and test the adaptive icons for your project. If you think this video was helpful, please like, comment and subscribe to IRECA Tech Solutions. Thank you.